Hi there, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transfer or migrate an entire WordPress website to a new host. Okay, so this is the website we're going to actually migrate to a new host. Okay, so this is where we're going to move our website. This is completely empty subdomain on this hosting account. So this is a separate hosting account. And the site we're going to transfer over here is also on a different hosting account okay so before we create or migrate this website we need to create a backup so we'll go to the back end of this particular website i'm going to go to the dashboard and we have to install a plugin for this but remember to subscribe today is your first time visiting my channel and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials so from the dashboard go to plugins and then we will have to install a new plugin so click and on add new and i'm going to use a plugin called duplicator so just go ahead and search for that plugin duplicator plugin so i'm just going to type duplicator so this is the plugin we're going to use i'll just install now click on install now and we have to activate this okay. you can see this is have a positive star rating so we are done activating this plugin we need to first create up we need to first create a backup of this site so i'll go down here from the menu the left menu you can see we have the duplicator plugin over here move your cursor on it and click on packages okay so when you click on packages we are not going to create our own package so at the moment no package is found so we have to click on create new to start creating our package for migration so i click on create new so you can give a name to this i'm going to leave this as default for now and i'll go ahead and click on next this is going to scan the sites and then organize your files for migration. We're going to allow some time for this to scan it. So the scanning is done and you can see the rating good, 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 and we are good to go. Then we have to go and click on build to build this package for us. So you have to give yourself some time for this to build so this is the last stage for this before we download that like and let me and let me know if you indeed subscribe to my youtube channel leave a comment at the comment section of this video okay so we are done with this package everything is successful we cannot download this so we want to download both files so click on download both files we'll need both to do the migration Okay, so both files are processing so you're going to download both files onto our computer so i'm going to pause this video for the download to complete and i'll be back for us to continue so our download our download is almost done so we just have to wait for this to finish and then we move to the next step so we are done with the download package for the two so that is all we need for this site so this is where we are moving our package to so this is a complete new website so the package is down downloading it's in a zip file and i'll show you how we can use it so we are moving it to this particular website the gapsin.kudosenergy.com so that is a subdomain and it's on a different hosting so remember we are moving from one hosting account to another hosting account so this is on this hosting and then the main website is also on this hosting but now what we need to do is to go into this hosting and then we have to create a database for the file we are going to import okay so we move down within our c panel just move down to your database section and then click on my sql database click on that so over here we want to create a database for this so let's give it a name so let me call this demo 
So the name of the database is going to be the when you click on create database. Create database. You can see the database is created successfully. We may have to save this somewhere because we'll need it during the transfer. Okay, so we're going to use this during the migration. So I'm just going to paste this. I'm just call this DB in my notepad because I will need it. So this is going to be my database. Once you're done creating the database, we need to create users as well. So we've created our database. We're going to go down here and then we create a user. So let's just call this one a demo user okay so that is the name we're going to give so let's call it demo let's say let's say call it demo use and we have to create a password for this and for this i am going to use just this password i'm having over here so this is just for practice so i'm going to use this password so this is the password i'm going to use so i'll just click on create user for this so this is a user now so it's going to be demo user and it's associated to the hosting account so we have to copy this one as well let me just close this we have to copy this because we need this while we import this website so i'm going to copy this down so this is going to be the user so i'll place this here we are not done yet so we'll go back now we're going to add this user to the database we created okay so we now go down and then you see we have add user to database so this is the database we created the demo and then the username is what the demo use so we just have to click on add if it's not there you just have to select it from the list so you just click on add and it's going to add this user to this database so because it's going to be our own website you can see we have the user in the database we have to grant all privileges so just check all privileges the person should be able to create author delete and all those privileges let's just assign all those privileges and then we'll go ahead and click on make changes so we are saving this so we actually saved this I granted all privileges successful so now we are good to go We've granted our privileges now we're going to move our site here our so how do we do this we will go back to our hosting i'll click and go back to the save panel we're going to do this through our file manager so i'm going to locate the file manager and then open this so this is a file manager for this site and we are using the gaps in dots kudos energy so we target that folder within the file manager so we're going to use this that's the gaps in dot kudos so this is a folder I'll open this and I'm going to import everything over here. What I'll do is that I want to just clear this folder. I'll let me clear everything here and then we just import those two files here. I want to just move it directly without moving into trash. So go ahead and click on upload. And we're going to upload the two files we downloaded over here. So I have it within my download folder. I'm going to copy these two files, drag them and then just drop them right here. I want to wait for this to upload onto our file manager so let's wait for this to upload and then we'll be back to continue this and then it's it's going to finish pretty soon so i think we can just wait for that to finish the installer is done the file itself is also processing like subscribe for more of my youtube video and also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials Yeah, so we are done. Both files have been uploaded. We can go here and reload this site and let's see what is going to happen. We are going to see the installer. So now we want to migrate this site. So go back to your URL and then just type slash the installer. We're going to target the installer. So backslash the installer.php. So just target that and then just hit enter to begin the installation process. So you're going to initialize the installer so that is it we come down here and then you can see we need to put the name of the database which we created so that's the main reason why i saved this here so this is the database we created i copy this and i'll paste this here we also need the user remember we saved that as well so this is the user we created i copy that as well i paste it here and then finally we need a password and you already know i use this password 
I'll copy that and then also paste it here. Let's first analyze this. We need to validate the information we provided and then click on validate. So let's make sure this is perfect before we proceed. So come down here to confirm. So the process has been passed. So since that is passed, we can proceed by clicking on I have written and accept terms and notice. So go ahead and click on next. Just click on OK to confirm this and let's wait for this process to continue. So it's going to take some time to process this and then our site should be ready on this new site. So everything is done and everything is fully migrated here. So we can even go back and click on admin login. We can log on to this site for the first time. Okay, so actually provided a password for this. So I'm going to log on to this. And it's going to delay the duplicated files for me, the file we use for the migration. You can see this site has been successfully migrated. So you migrated the site to a new platform. So it has actually removed the content that we don't need on this site and it has been migrated. We can just go and then view this site and see. So let's visit this. So let's visit this site and it's going to load. You can see this site has been successfully migrated to this. You can see the domain name subdomain has been migrated here if you check here for instance this is the old website we've migrated a copy of this site to this site with a different what domain name. like subscribe for more of my youtube video let me know at the comment section if you need to subscribe there's going to be a more there's going to be more of such related video and all advanced content that you would like to consume on this site like for more of that internal post notification till i come away again bye bye